what it's like to live to come to. I gotta listen to Donna Rubin a little more. She's got it. And you know what I mean by that. You don't have to see the finished product. You can see it from the beginning. And she's got it in her black shirt that she speaks and spoke. She spoke for you and as you would. And that occasion you yours so to do. And so setting the down, who would have thought this little girl from Martinsville, Virginia, would come to be the dean of a school that ranked number one in Virginia, seventeenth in, in the nation in terms of any numbers of things that could happen. And I'm happy to have known her. Congratulate your graduates, your families, your friends. And I have been so fortunate to have the opportunity to speak to you, many of your classes of invitation for your instructor. That's what I'd like to do too. That's where I'm going to get in there with you and start asking me questions. You know I'm coming to ask you some questions. And one of the things I used to ask the students is, Need me one thing that doesn't involve money. Don't think that can happen. They end up agreeing with me, but there are very few things that you can mention relative to the social agenda, to the American agenda, that don't and doesn't involve money. I think I know is God requires 
Gavin should tell us and tell the people what happened to the one hundred million dollars that's been wasted by President Rahm and his advisors. Can you tell us? That?
sacrifice. And the of sophisticated society is one in which the acceptance is always ours. A servant to contribute to a demand that continues. You know that the story of Theodore Williams of Earth and America has always been in search of itself. And I, I, I've always admired his writings and have read them. From colonization to dominance on the world scene, that search continues and is as much inward as it is expansive. The forming of a more perfect union, as described by the founders, called for the improvement upon what is shaping it to what it can be. The removal of any aspects of Dr. King's torturous journey from our history books as directed by Governor Young is not only insulting, but it's unforgivable. It took me eight long years in Virginia to get a holiday established for Dr. King. I get it passed in the Senate where I was, the House of Killing. Get it passed in the Senate at the House, the government vetoed it. I get it passed in the Senate again, and it didn't pass out of the House again. And another government would veto it. People don't understand that talk was bad, what it took. And yet, in the end, there were people who voted against it, came to me to say, Can I be a patron? On the bill. They were made to see, made to understand that no one was asking for anyone to give up anything. But get out of the way of those who are aspiring to rise to that high possibility of the individual. <laughs> Fortunately, the people are in a position to demand, not merely request, and this milk talks of leadership we see sometimes cannot be accepted. It might not come soon enough for some, not some including, but it's surely. As the seasons trade each other, it'll come. Your contributions as graduates are needed now more than ever. You not only represent your generations, but those of your parents, your grandparents, and countless others who have lived unfulfilled dreams. Free speech is the backbone of a free society, and you are fortunate, as I have been continue to demand for what is right and to criticize what is wrong. We celebrate Mother's Day tomorrow. None of us would be here, obviously, without our mother. But I certainly wouldn't be here in this capacity with you today if we're not for my mother. But I didn't want to go, she said to God. 